What's up guys, Salt Anthony, and welcome back to the CRZ vlog that you hopefully know and will eventually love once it's gone because in today's video, we're giving this thing an interior detail. Let's go. guys so based off the topic of my previous video and the video I'm shooting today I'm sure you could guess what the plans are for my Honda CRZ after reading all of your comments and doing some deep concentrated meditation of my own I've come to the conclusion that it is in the best interest of pretty much everything to sell the CRZ sooner than later I know you can shed a tear I am sad too it's a tough decision, but you know what? I have to do something. And so with that said, there's still gonna be several upcoming videos on this car, including the one I'm shooting today. So basically, we're gonna be preparing it for the sale, and I'm gonna be doing one last final review of the car just to help everybody going forward down the road that's interested in the Honda CRZ. So today, we're gonna be knocking it into your detail. In the upcoming videos, we're gonna be doing an exterior detail, a full paint correction with a ceramic coating and all that, just to really get this thing popping. And of course, knocking out some other things that's going to get us the most return on the investment here so as far as the interior detail honestly this thing really isn't that bad it was really never that bad to begin with it was really kind of just dusty it had a few stains when I first got it but over the last seven months I have cleaned it up just a little bit just to make it more daily driver worthy but I've never really given this car like a full full deep clean so that's what we're gonna be doing today making sure everything looks as good as we can possibly get it so in terms of products and everything I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with everything but in this uh, sprayer right here I have a product called Koch Chemi Polestar which is kind of an all-around interior cleaner. It literally cleans everything from the seats to the carpets to the door panels, all of that. I have Coach Kemi Top Star, which is going to be our interior dressing with the UV protection and all that just to darken the surfaces, make them look a lot newer. I have a variety of brushes here from Detail Factory, a couple of boar's hair brushes, this, um, <laughs> barbershop style brush that I really 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 like I got a carpet brush here multiple towels an applicator and then of course our shop vac and then I have a steamer uh, for steaming out the vents and steaming out any tough stains that I can't get out so um, unlike the white civic detail where I literally pulled out the seats and all of that stuff this car really doesn't need that. So I'm gonna keep the seats in, try to make it simple. This should be a shorter video, uh, just cause it's really not that bad, but I think the outcome is still gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm most excited about knocking out the exterior detail. That's the thing I'm honestly looking the, the, the most forward to, as I have been since the paintwork was done, the PDR was done and all that. So, but yeah, we're gonna be doing some scrubbing, doing some rubbing, and doing some dubbing of music over the montage to make things more interesting. Let's get started. All right, don't judge me. It's like 1030, but it's like 95 degrees and humid. So I'm gonna have myself a beer.
so we just finished up with the vacuuming and everything actually looks uh, pretty good. Some stains here in the uh, passenger side footwell and I'm not really sure if steam will completely remove those. I may pull out the extractor if I'm feeling spicy. I don't know, we'll just have to see with steam first and see what it does. Uh, but overall though, I mean, everything is gonna clean up well. Once we pull out the brush and the interior cleaner and start working our way through and lathering everything up, you know, nice and lather-like, like we're giving the car a nice shave, um, I think it's gonna turn out, I think it's gonna look pretty good. Uh, but one thing I was wanting to try with everything out of here, I wanted to see what it would be like sitting in a JDM uh, CRZ. So they have a back seat that you can sit in. And this is not a seat, this is a shelf. Oh my God, this is absolutely horrible. Nope, nope, holy crap, I can't even imagine. Get me out of here, get me out of ah. All right, so I kinda dropped the ball on getting the steamer started up early, so while that's heating up, I thought I'd just bust out the extractor and then to start knocking out the rear here. So the rear's not bad. I mean, like, literally, there's some pilling of the carpet. I really don't wanna scrub it all that much, so I'm gonna take my interior cleaner here and just start pre-treating everything, getting everything all over the carpet. And I'm really just gonna be just kind of lightly agitating it because once you start scrubbing carpet with a, an aggressive brush, it starts changing the way the carpet looks. It starts to look like super old and worn. And I don't want it to look like that. So I wanna just make sure it's nice and lubricated. Then I'm gonna take my brush here, load my brush up, and then probably start on this uh, probably start on that rear shelf once it's down like that and then actually get that as well Yep, perfect and after I do that, I'm just going to do just lightly agitate it Alright guys, so if I'm honest, these are some of my least favorite seats to clean, like, ever. If you have a CRZ, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you have these seats, uh, or if anybody else has this kind of fabric here, but basically, um, it stains extremely, extremely easily. I mean, if you spill water on it, it creates a watermark that looks like a stain. Like, I had a water bottle leak the other day, it created... Uh, a stain and so um, super annoying I wish people didn't use I wish manufacturers didn't use this type of fabric just because it's so hard to maintain um, but I'll kind of show you how to do a nice light cleaning on these so what I like to do take my interior cleaner and I'm not going to overly saturate everything because again if I overly saturate everything I'm going to create too much of a stain and it's going to be a, a total pain to get the stain out no all right, anyways, moving on. Just, but don't overly saturate it because another thing too on these CRZs is that um, you have sensors inside here when somebody's sitting in here. And if the seat gets too wet, then those sensors pick up as somebody's sitting on the seat and your light, your seatbelt light pull thing will go off. So um, just don't overly saturate it. I'm going to take my brush and just Bob Ross that. Just nice and light, nothing crazy. If you have a stain that's like really, you know, hard to get out, you'll focus more concentration on the area. But for the most part, I am just lightly, lightly agitating it. Anyways, after you get your product on there, from there, it's super simple. You can take a steamer, if you have a steamer, I'm, I'm imagining many of you don't have a steamer and that's okay. You can just take a towel and a wet towel and mop it up and then be done. And don't, like I said, don't introduce any more water to it. Just call it good there and then move on with your life or you can be crazy like me, buy a steamer and steam everything. So we're getting some hot steam and I'm just going to steam, wipe, steam it, wipe it with a towel. There we go, pop here, headrest.
you will pull your seat up. Same thing, you can steam it. These aren't bad, so I'm just going to wipe them down. Basically, you just don't want to be leaving any type of puddles of water sitting on the seat. Otherwise, it'll reform a stain. But feels clean, looks clean to me. So now we'll move on to the carpets. Start spraying everything down. They're cleaner. Again, this Pull Star stuff from Coach Kemi, like I was telling you about. I'll put a link down below with all the stuff I'm using today. But Pull Star, it's just everything interior, carpets you name it, screens, all that. And um, it comes like a one liter bottle and it's a concentrate. And so you dilute it like 20 to 30 to one with water, preferably distilled water. And that one liter makes you like liters and liters and liters and liters of product. So you'll have more than you'll ever know what to do with. And um, it's not that expensive. And so spray this on here, agitate everything with a brush after this. I don't want to say that this car was neglected necessarily. I mean, obviously it sat in an auction lot, but other than that though, I don't know. It wasn't beat on like you would see a 90s Honda. The 90s Hondas, it's so hard to find anything that's super clean nowadays. But this thing being a 2011, it's seen, you know, half the abuse. The red, it was ne nothing will ever be worse than my, my red Civic. That was the worst car. I've ever had to detail, and the fact that the interior's come so far, some so far, it's, it's crazy, man. It's such a nice place to be now. But like Sal said in that video at the Honda meet, it was it was so bad that nobody would believe it unless you saw it. And the fact that I got it to where it is today, like I said, I'm just super happy and grateful that everything was able to clean up and all those junkyard runs and replacing interior parts and doing all that paid off, making it a, a nicer place to be. For example, if I were to steam this, I would steam, agitate, and then vacuum up. That's that's what I would do. And you can already see that, that all that frost are getting pretty brown from all the dirt I was picking up. But since I already have the extractor next to me, I'm just gonna extract it just to make sure these are as clean as I can possibly get them. So the extractor I use is a $10 um, extractor I got at a yard sale. It's nothing crazy. It's just a Bissell spot clean. You put water in it or you put a little bit of water mixed with Optimum No Rinse. It's like a rinseless wash and it like works every single time. It's like the best $10 ever spent. So turn this thing on. Do our delicious extraction here. Oh yeah, that's gonna turn out nice. Done. That's it. And then we'll just uh, mop up everything with a towel and then vacuum it up. shoes off the seat should be somewhat dry carpet's still not dry but whatever um so glove box we'll just kind of wipe that out really cool are you freaking kidding me are you dude in the entirety of this time i've owned this car i've been looking for this stupid piece for here where it's missing and it was in the glove box the whole time I literally almost ordered this bezel piece like five different times because I just wanted to replace this one little piece. I am 
so mad right now. Yeah, there's really nothing to clean out. It's just old paperwork and stuff. But if I remember right, I think there's the original, yeah, right here, original window sticker. Pretty sweet. But, so yeah, not much to clean out there. I can't believe that was in there. I'm so mad about that stupid thing. So for this, I don't know. I'm just gonna, there's nothing in there. Lay down my interior cleaner and then take my brush. Start Bob Ross in that. This thing's cleaned up nicely. I really don't have any complaints. There hasn't been any crazy stains or any crazy weird smells. It kind of smells like an old woman, if I'm honest, like in terms of what the car smells like. Do that with a towel. Take that. Wipe that up. I'm just, I'll, dude, I'm so mad about that plastic piece. I am so mad about that. Gone so long. So long. You would think that would stay open. I think that's just how it's supposed to be. This is a nice car. I'm gonna be sad, man. Like, this is my most tech, tech, tech full filled vehicle in my lineup. And the fact that I'm gonna be missing out on this sound system that actually sounds really good upsets me. And then all of this down here, I mean, now that I have that stupid piece, you guys don't know how mad I am about that. I really am. It's the little stuff like that that bothers the crap out of me. So, so far so good. Everything's been cleaned on the interior using the Polestar products it went through, knocked out the dash, center console, the door panels, the rear, all the plastics, everything is actually looking pretty damn good. A couple scuffs here on the bottom and whatnot, but just normal wear and tear. Uh, this chrome is starting to, you know, crack and look unsightly, but I don't really know what there is to do about that other than replace it or wrap it. That would be another good option. Uh, but other than that though, it's time to dress the interior now. So all the plastics are gonna get treated with uh, Coach Kimmy's Top Star here, which is a, uh, a UV inhibitor. It's got some UV inhibitors in there, but it's also gonna darken the plastic, uh, protect it from sun exposure, all that stuff, and make them look uh, new-ish, right? It's not gonna make everything look brand new, but new-ish is kind of what we're going for. So we're just gonna apply it to this applicator here and go through with all the plastics. Uh, now, really, I don't, I didn't have any hiccups, man. I think everything is, is turning out pretty good on this car, really. I, I think it's gonna look really good once we're uh, wrapping everything up. I do need to hit the windows as well. Uh, but what I was talking about with those seats though, it kind of sucks because every time I would set down a wet brush and just not think about it, it would sit on the seat and then stain it. <laughs> like that's how easy these seats are to stain. It's just such a pain, man. So uh, just keep that in mind if you have a CRZ and you're doing the same thing. Just try to set all your wet brushes and all your wet stuff down on the floor um, while you're uh, cleaning everything else up. But uh, seats actually do feel dry at this point, so we should be good to go there. All right, so in terms of how to apply this stuff, it's got a pop top on it. I would prefer it to have a sprayer, but we're just gonna use it like this. Apply it to this applicator and Smells good, dude. It smells so freaking good. I love the way it smells. And uh, take a towel here and then wipe that on. And so see how that's kind of a darker look right there? That actually has now turned that area darker, which is, which is the look we're going for. That's what we want. So apply a little bit more and we're gonna go through from top to bottom and apply this. Now on black plastic, this stuff does wonders on like the gray stuff. I don't really know how much of a difference it's gonna make. But go through, apply it to this, the pillars, the surrounds here. 
see how there's some door scuffs down here on the bottom from where my foot was kind of kicking it? Take this stuff, go over the top. It doesn't make them go away, but it makes them a little bit less noticeable. And then we're gonna take our microfiber towel, flip that over, and buff it down. Yeah, dude, that looks great. I am pumped on how that turned out. Okay, and I didn't discuss the window cleaner, but I'm using TrueView ready to use glass cleaner from PNS. And we're gonna spray that on, not the plastic I just dressed, but on everything else. Spray that down, right to a nice streak-free finish. Knock out the mirror here. Rear glass. All right, so last up is the windshield here. Now, if you don't have one of these easy reach glass tools, buy one. It's literally the best, I don't know, $13 you'll ever spend. Use a glass cleaner, grab this, um, and clean your windshield is as easy as doing this. So basically, give that a couple sprays, take this, and just start wiping up and down. And I'm telling you, this has changed the way I clean windshields because I hate cleaning windshields. It sucks. I get streaks all the time. It never looks right. But this has improved that substantially. But this is like a perfect tool if you have one of those windshields that like constantly gets foggy or if you're one of the vaping bros, this makes a huge difference. And so, yeah, dude, that's like perfect. All right, so carpets are dry. We're gonna put the OEM mats back in. The OEM mats are in pretty good shape. They're not, I bought them used because the car didn't come with them. And I've already tried to extract them and clean them to the best of my abilities and they didn't come out perfect, but you know, it's better than, better than nothing at all. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll throw the weather techs or the, you know, weather techs, the Walmart weather techs over the top and it'll look much better. And of course, right when I sew up the interior, it starts raining outside, which just so happens to be the day after I wash the Civic. So awesome. That's how it always works out, right guys? So interior looks awesome. I'm super pumped with how that turned out and we are one step closer to sadly selling the CRZ. But I think the new owner is gonna be really happy with how the interior looks. Uh, again, it cleaned up really, really well. I'm most excited about the paint correction because uh, on camera here, the paint looks, like it looks good, right? But it's gonna look better like like substantially better once I polish it once I do all that holy crap man it is dude it's it's really coming down that sucks maybe it's a sign right maybe it's it's the gods telling me hey don't do it man don't sell the car but I'm like hey I got to, I have to if I wanna experience more stuff. So uh, anyways, with that said guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Maybe you guys maybe seen tricks and tips I've done before and you just enjoy seeing me detail stuff. I know it's not for everybody, uh, but it's something that I enjoy doing, especially when it comes to my own cars and a car that I'm gonna be selling. So with that said, we are gonna end today's video with the final after shots of all of my work for today. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and still continue to enjoy it even long after this CRZ is gone. So as always, if you guys dig my content, whether it's the CRZ, the Civic, or really anything else, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down for more. I'll catch you guys next one. Salt Anthony.
Peace. Peace.